welcome back guys. The last time I left you guys, I was just leaving Xi'an. So I'm gonna pick up right where I left off so you guys can see what it's really like traveling. Sometimes I may make it look easy, but a lot of times it's not. I just went through that security, which in China is quite an experience. You gotta fight through people to get up there. I'm heading up to the main departure area and I have to find my gate. There's not a lot of English here, so my strategy is just going up to officers or anyone that looks like they work here, and then they usually are able to help me. One thing I want to show you guys is that in China, and at most train stations in most countries, you're going to find a variety of food and shops to go to, as you can see behind me over here. There's a McDonald's, there's always a McDonald's, no matter where you go in the world, what train station or what country, McDonald's is always there. Over here in China, you can even buy a car before you get on the train. Only in China, right? And I just realized, guys, I haven't even told you where I'm going. I've been in Xi'an for three days. I'll give you guys a hint. I'm going to a very popular part of China. It's kind of like a newer, popular area. They're famous for their food and they're famous for pandas and the scenery. Do you guys know where I'm going? I will let you know as soon as I get there. So the next step in getting trains here in China is I've got to match the train with the number. These are all the trains that are leaving this morning. My train is D1917. So let's see. Let's see my train is right there, D1917. It says that it's going to be going to Chengdu in Chinese. It's leaving at 9 o'clock and I need to go to A23 or B23. And the state, I am guessing that's like saying that it's on time or if it's late. You can see the one up in the red, it says 40 and then Chinese. It means that the train is delayed, just like an airplane. That's one strategy I do with these kind of things when I travel. I try to get there an hour early, no vlogging, no food, until I find out exactly what gate I'm going to, where the train is, or a plane or whatever. Once I have that all figured out, then I can relax, go get food, vlog for you guys, and then get to my departure on time. But that's something I would suggest if you're gonna be doing these kind of things, get there an hour early, find out everything as soon as you can, and then relax and go eat. Now I need to figure out what I'm gonna eat. Now I'm on the upper level where all the food is, and I've got some options. I can do KFC way, way over there, McDonald's. I have some nice Chinese restaurant options over here. And then on that wall over there, there are more Chinese restaurants. Uh, I don't know what I want. I feel like if I go to McDonald's, I'm being so American, which McDonald's is okay once in a while. I mean, I'm in China for five weeks, so having McDonald's one time is fine. I don't care. Let's see what I choose. So here's my ticket, guys. You can see I'm going from Xi'an to, where is that? Chengdu Dong, Chengdu. Uh, this is the date. This is the time I'm leaving. This is the car. This is my seat. This is the price. So it costed 263 yuan. I can't remember exactly right now at this time how much that is. I'm taking a high-speed train. And for breakfast today, guys, I decided to go with our traditional Chinese hamburger with the pork inside and the pita bread, too. We are boarding now, guys. And you can see this is what the train cars look like. So I'm in car number 16. So we're at 15. One more car.
I found the train ride to be quite smooth and really comfortable going along. There's also hot water where you can fill up your water bottle anytime you want. There's also luggage storage at the end of each car. Overall, trains in China I found very comfortable. I took a total of six trains throughout my trip in China. It's definitely my favorite way to travel in general and definitely my preferred way of traveling in China. Pretty big bathroom too. Yeah. I was trying to wash my hands before flushing the toilet to give it more of an effect on camera but it wouldn't let me wash my hands so I learned here that if you go to the bathroom you can't just wash your hands you have to go to the bathroom and flush it first and then you're able to wash your hands you have if you don't flush it then the water will not come out okay I'm ready to get out of this bathroom <laughs> Yes, guys! After four and a half hours, I have arrived here in Chengdu, China. And it is 10 or about 15 degrees warmer. No more snow, so the coldest part of my journey in China is behind me. I'm really excited about that. Um, still beautiful though, but yeah, welcome to Chengdu. I got my metro card, I'm all set. One tip when traveling, always do the subway. Always, always. It's the cheapest and it actually could be the fastest as well. Taxis are gonna charge you a fortune. I take subways all the time. Doing your research and finding out where your hotel or hostel is and finding out what subway exit you need to take will go a long way. So keep that in mind whenever you're traveling and if you're in cities that have subways, take the metro. After about 35 minutes on the subway, I made it to my hotel. I'm all checked in, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what my hotel looks like here in Chengdu. Is it the wrong door? Okay. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna put the key here. All right, guys, welcome to my hotel room here in Chengdu. Again, two beds because all their doubles are full. So they gave me a double bedroom uh, for the same price. Here is the bed I am using. Okay, here's the other bed. I've got all my stuff over here. My bag, nice refrigerator here. Water pots. Here is the bathroom. I really like the bathroom. Nice shower. Can you guys guess how much I paid for this room? $20, so $20 a night, and this is my room here in Chengdu. Pretty nice, it's in a really good location. I'm near the Wonsu Monastery in the downtown area, so it's perfect, location is great, staff are nice, and it's nice to have my own room, because I just came from the hostel in Xi'an, so again, that's what I like to do, I kinda like to go Hostel, hotel, hostel, hotel. My next destination will be Shanghai. And in Shanghai, I'm gonna be staying at a hostel. So I kinda of decide what I wanna do and kinda of go from there. I hope that this was interesting for you guys and you guys got a good idea of what it's like for me as I travel through trains in different countries and how do I get to the hotel and how does the subway work and all this kind of stuff. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks again for watching guys and remember to live every moment to the max. I'll see you guys next time.